hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in previous video we have done with view order so let me just show you so we have just view the order and now guys we are going to view order details okay so what are this order details so we have already designed the page guys in previous video and we are continuing in that okay so guys now let's get back to this page and start designing it so first let's create one row then column md6 and then h5 tag for order details and horizontal row again and then use a h6 tag to display all the data so what data like order id tracking number created order time so all these things okay so let me just paste that list guys over here these are my order details okay and now let me just copy this and again paste below for the user details okay so let's type here user details which will be like full name phone number email id address and pin code so full name then your email id then phone then pin code and then address so what we can do let's remove this copy and paste and just add address all set guys and now let me break the line and then use the h5 heading tag order items again horizontal row and then here we have to list all the order items so now guys let's get back and let's fill all these details first and then we will display its order items so for that let's go to our order controller and we are getting this order variable let's move to the blade and here you begin let's tell order dollar order of id that is the order id let me copy this and paste for everything here paste here and this is the tracking number so tracking underscore number and then and then the created at and if you want you can show in a format which like date month year and if you want date and time h and i and you can set that am and pm here okay and then your payment mode guys payment underscore mode and then finally your message i mean your status order status what is in progress or not so for that you can just add here dollar order of status underscore message all set and now guys you can get back to this user details so user details also are the same data so let's we can just see here we are having that here itself full name email phone pin code address let's get that it's a full name full name then email then it's a phone then address and then pin code pin code save it and now guys let's ordered date okay so let's keep ordered date cool so this is our order details and user details and now guys let's loop our order items let's get back so guys let's copy from before table itself so we have already designed the table right so let's copy this complete table and edit according to the requirement let's copy it get back paste it so first we are going to change the table heading data so let me just change and show it guys so these are the table headings which we require to show in our loop so now we don't need this let's remove and use a for each loop for each you need to get that order variable okay so what is this order nothing but the same order variable okay what we are using to show so that order and here let's tell order items okay order item so before that order item you need to use a relationship to get all the order items 
order items okay copy this and go to our order model first so where is order model here it is let's control c e and search for the model and create our relationship so which is one order has many order items so that means has many relationship so relation which has has many okay so here you tell order items okay and this model order item model so make sure you are giving the correct model name so here you see we are order item itself okay and the foreign key so foreign key is nothing but the order id in your order item table order id and from this table primary key that is your id done guys and now if you get this copy and go back to your viewblade.php and paste here you will be able to fetch all the order items now you can use a table row and use a table data and show your order item id done guys and i just want to keep width equal to 10% let's copy and paste again next was the image so guys we have to get the relationship and display all the image so we have already done in the cart module right where in this cart module we have already coded that code so let's copy from there so let's move to our cart not here let's go to live wire component first live wire front end cart module cart show let me yes and yep here is the complete code let's copy this and get back paste it so guys we are going to just copy only for the image and let's create another td and take this complete name and paste here so this is going to be your product name product okay so here you see product and this is the image so here you are using the image let's control x and then the price quantity and total so price and quantity will come from the order item table itself and copy from above control c and paste so here it will be price and then quantity and then again the total so total is going to be like quantity into price copy this and paste done guys all set and now here you see in this image we are using cart item so it's not a cart item let's replace the variable copy this order items just select all control d d d d d okay paste it now it goes to order items and it searches for the relationship of product and here you see it from the order items it sells the relationship of product color so first you need to go to your order model and here is our order item model let's go to that order item model guys first all done and now you need to create a relationship belongs to okay so let me add relationship of belongs to here you go and let's get back to order.php guys here you see that i have used this has many right you need to import this class or else it will throw an error so make sure you're importing it so i have imported it guys and now you get back to your order items and let's get started here and now guys you need to import this belongs to let's import this class also guys first it's imported okay so this is a belongs to relationship and here it's going to be product so first we are creating product relationship and the model is product done and the foreign key let's copy and paste and the id done guys and let's replace this get the product data hold on order items okay so let's copy this again and paste below 
and now here you are going to tell product colors okay so if you are feeling like it's a mistake let's copy this and create that function same name okay and here you need to add the model name product color okay let me just show that here it's product colors so guys make sure you are importing the class let's import the class of product color imported and the product model also product model perfect so product and product color both models are imported now let's get back to this product color here you see that we are need to link that so let's copy this product color id and paste it all set guys and now let's close it and relationship will be successful for this item image and this also okay and let's move below so here you see that orders links so let's remove this this is from the previous page we just now copied it okay so we copied from here and pasted right let's remove that and now guys let's check the output once let's refresh here and check that all the order items perfect so here we see that item ids that is 18 and 19 and the product name with the image also and the price with the total amount so this total amount let's make it to bold let's get back and here you just need to add a class so class that is fw hyphen bold that is fw means font weight and now guys what we need to do we just need to declare one php and and php and create on variable total amount or total price so let's tell total price equal to zero in the beginning and this price we are going to display at below okay so after your for each ends so here your for each starts and your for each ends after that let's create one table row and table data and paste the variable and now guys let's copy and paste again this table data and here we are going to tell total amount all set so call span equals to how many columns are there like one two three four and five so i just want this call span to be five and remaining it is one so let's add that one and here let me make it to bold let's copy from the above class okay paste and again you paste that all set guys and now we need to calculate the total amount so if you show now it will show zero as a total price but we need to calculate so inside the for each loop only i'm going to do the calculation so let's copy this and paste here all set guys and now you just need to copy this calculation your quantity into price paste here and add a plus symbol so plus equal to which will store your value inside a single variable and then you can print the amount as simple guys and now let's add the dollar symbol here because we are showing all the currencies in a usd so you need to add the dollar symbol wherever you are showing the price set guys and now you can get back and refresh perfect so here you see the total amount and the total amount value okay so let's get back okay the back button is not working so let's set up that go on the top set the url function named as orders that's it let's go refresh and go back to orders click orders and now guys i'm going to view the order id one view here you see order id one and it's working fine so here you see the color t-shirt choose here it is red and here it is green and the total amount the quantity everything works fine so guys we have successfully completed how to display your order details in laravel so guys let's continue next video with the new topic 
if this laravel 9 e-commerce using live wire so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share